In this video, we're combining two of my favorite techniques, UV printing and laser cutting. We're gonna be using clear acrylic that is custom cut to a shape and then printed with a colorful images to create some really custom and unique products. If you wanna learn how to do that the right way, stick around, I'm gonna show you the whole process. Hey there, I'm Sarah, you are watching Creative Ramblings. We talk about a lot about lasers and printing on this channel. If you like craft tech, you will probably find some videos here that help you move forward in your creative journey. So I highly suggest you consider subscribing and check out some of those videos. Today we are combining both laser cutting and UV printing to make items like this. So this is a clear acrylic keychain with an image printed on it. It has a really polished and professional look to it, and you can make these for anything. What inspired me to make this video was a cute little keychain that I got over the weekend from a brand, and it was just a piece of acrylic with a custom UV printed logo on it. And they were giving them out to everybody, and they were really well received. And I thought, I can make that, and I can show you how to make that. So here's what you'll need to do this. The first thing we need is a laser that can cut clear acrylic. And you're going to need a CO2 laser to do this. You cannot do this with a diode or an IR or a fiber. You need a CO2 laser to cut clear acrylic. So I'm going to be using my Xtool P2S. You can use any CO2 laser. You're also gonna need a UV printer. And I love this UV Make E1. It is truly a home UV printer that isn't gonna break the bank for you. You're gonna be able to use it at home in your small business. I am using the software that comes with both of these. So I'm gonna be using Xtool Studio for the Xtool laser, and I'm going to be using the UV software for the printer. And I'm gonna show you how to take the graphic that you wanna cut and print and take it from one software to the other. The clear acrylic that I'm using is three millimeter acrylic and the pieces today are from Xtool. They often have really good sales on their materials. Uh, there's a lot of different places you can get some clear acrylic as well. Before we dive into the project, I wanna point out something really important and that is the order in which we do projects like this. We are going to design and cut the clear acrylic first and then print on it. The reason for this is that UV printing, what this machine does here, involves a resin ink that is instantly cured by UV light on here. So it's nice and hard. You're getting an item like this where this is not coming off in any way. This is permanent. That resin, if then heated up again by a laser, so if the laser were to then cut through that resin, it has the potential to give off some toxic fumes and we don't want to do that. You also run the risk of running resin ink through your laser if the laser hits it of ruining your print. It has the potential to melt it or just char it in some way. The safest way to go is to cut the acrylic first and then print on it. So that's what we're gonna do here. So the first thing I wanna do is go into Actual Studio. Little side note, uh, this video is filmed in September of 25 and Xtool Studio is brand new. It is replacing Xtool Creative Space. I actually just upgraded or switched over earlier this week. It is a very similar process and you're gonna be hearing a lot more from me about Studio and from Xtool going forward, but you can do this project with Xtool Creative Space if that is still what you're using. So let's open up that software and start there. Here we are in Xtool Studio. My P2 is connected and the camera is going to refresh and show me the piece of acrylic that is on the slats. My acrylic comes with paper on both the front and the back and I'm gonna leave the paper on for cutting. So that's what we're gonna see here. Now I'm gonna to go to materials, pick that clear acrylic. And let's bring in a design. So the design I'm bringing in is actually an image. So not normally something we work with in a laser software, but that is what we are doing here. I'm gonna scale this down just a little bit, but I am going to leave it fairly large so I can work with it. And then I'll get it down to the exact kind of keychain size that I want a little bit later. 
So this is the image that we want to print. And what we're doing in Xtool Studio is creating an outline to cut. So I'm going to do that with the offset feature up on top here. I want a pretty big offset because I don't want it to contour to all those little shapes. I just want to contour to the very outside. All right, I'm happy with how 13 looks. So let's hit confirm. And now to turn this into a keychain, I need to put a little hole somewhere. And I don't really want it to cover where that printing is going to go. So I am going to come over and create a circle. And then place this circle somewhere where I want the keychain holder to go. That looks good to me. So I'm going to select the offset and the little circle. and then come up to Unite. And that's just gonna bring them together for me. Then I'm gonna make another circle and we'll put that circle kind of right inside here. And this is gonna be where the keychain part is gonna hang from. The next step is to select everything and bring this down to a size of a keychain that I want. So that looks good to me. Now we need to cut the acrylic, but we don't need this image anymore. So I'm gonna take the image and pull it over here. And now I wanna note the size of that image. It is 71.67 millimeters and it's a square. So I need to write that down, 71.67. I'm going to need that later. So for now, I can hide the output on this and we can cut this piece right here. These are the settings that it's giving me 80 by 13. If you go into one click set, I know that I can go a little bit faster on mine, but these grids are always great to figure out what you, what settings you need to cut. But I'm going to up mine to 16 here and we're going to process. our acrylic piece. This is the front. This is the back. So I'm going to hold it this way for now so I don't forget. Okay, so I'm holding my acrylic here and my thumb is on the front. I want to peel the paper off the back. So I'm just going to use a little weeding tool and pull that paper off and then we can put it into our UV printer. This is the UV Make printer. I've got the mini mat right here. And I can very easily just pull this out. I've got a protective coating on the top so I don't get any dust. And this is an adhesive mat. So I am going to stick this right in the middle and push down really well so it doesn't move and it doesn't warp when we're printing. So we're all set there. We can stick it back in and lock it. And now we're gonna go to the Eufy software so we can print. Here we are in Eufy Make Studio and over on the right, my printer is plugged in and online and it's telling me that the mini flatbed is installed. So now I'm going to take a snapshot of the acrylic piece that's in there. While that snapshot is happening, I can go ahead and upload a design. We're gonna upload that same butterfly that we used before. The first thing I want to do to my butterfly image is change the size to 71.67. I'm going to zoom in on my canvas a little bit more so we can see what's going on here. Now, since we're printing from the back, I need to flip this image so I can right click and flip it horizontally. Then from here, I can line it up. and rotate it just a little to fit exactly on my piece. So that looks really good to me. So now let's come over on the right and pick our settings. So I'm gonna choose acrylic for my material. I'm gonna use standard quality. And if I click on the image, we can choose our ink mode. So this is important here. 
if we are just to do CMYK, we are just going to get a, a colored piece uh, showing through the clear acrylic. What I want to do is cover the back with white. So I can do CMYK and then white. The other thing you can do is CMYK, which is color, white, and then CMYK again. What this does is it gives you a two-sided, really colorful, vibrant finish. Much more vibrant than if you were to just do the CMYK. So it doesn't show up very well on just acrylic. So we're going to choose this here. This setting, the CMYK white CMYK, is great for images that don't have words. The first keychain I showed you had a teacher saying on it. I can't do that on both sides because it'll be backwards on one side. So if you have words or something that needs to be one way, you have to do just CMYK white, but we can do it two way for this. So now we can go ahead and hit print. For this part, I am going to shut this door. When you're working with a mini bed, it's a great way to shut the door. You're fully protected here. If you're printing with those doors open, make sure you're wearing the goggles that come with it because you don't want that UV light coming in contact with your eyes. So as soon as we hear that little ding, I can hit start and it's gonna go ahead and print. Final thing we have to do is pull that paper off the back. And there we have it, a cute two-sided acrylic keychain. What I wanted to show you in this video is how to use your CO2 laser and your UV printer together to make some vibrant, bright, custom, unique products. I told you earlier that the reason that the thing that inspired me to do this was some swag I got for a brand. So think through how you can leverage this. And is there a business you can go out to and make some custom swag for them to hand out and get their name out? These make great teacher gifts. We've got a teacher keychain right here. You could turn these into bookmarks, cake toppers, all kinds of different things with acrylic. So I hope you learned a process here and I hope you can take this and go replicate it for yourself. All of the machines and materials I use today are linked down below. And if you want to know more about the CO2, the P2S, or the UV printer, the UV Make E1, I do have other videos on those machines. I also have a lot of software videos, including Xtool Creative Space, and I am going to get a Xtool Studio software tutorial out very soon. I think I've only had this for like four days, so it is very new. So as soon as I'm feeling really comfortable with it, I'm going to release that. If you have any further questions on this cutting and printing process, feel free to drop them in the comments. And if there are more videos that you want to see using these machines, please let me know. I'd love to create that for you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.